Man, one and zero in the AFC North. Man, we don't take that for granted. We're appreciative. Um, I'm appreciative of the effort of the men. Um, I'm appreciative of their fight. Uh, their no blink approach. Obviously, it wasn't uh, easy tonight, but we didn't expect it to be. It's a, kind of a signature of AFC North ball, and particularly these two teams. Um, they had momentum. They were coming off of a big win, and so um, we didn't get the type of fluidity we wanted early. But um, I, I like the fight. Obviously, the big play, the, the pick six, uh, was a nice catalyst. But after that, um, it took us a while to to gain rhythm. Uh, we gave up another big run, and so we got some things obviously to work on. It's cool to work on it uh, with the win. Um, can't say enough about. Um, Nick Chubb, man, sending our best to him. Got a lot of respect for that guy. Um, we had some injuries of our own in-game. Gunner is being evaluated for a concussion. Uh, Mika uh, is being evaluated at the hospital uh, with a chest injury. Uh, Elandon Roberts, um, I think he was able to get back into the game, stinger of some description. Uh, bumps and bruises associated with play. Uh, we got to assess all of those things, man, and put together a plan here on a short week. Um, to go to Vegas, and so uh, we're thankful for the win, um, but uh, we'll keep pushing. I'll pause and open it up for questions. Mike, what is uh, Minka's injury specifically, do you know? I do not. Um, I just know that he is being evaluated um, as we speak. I'm sure I'll have more information for you guys when we talk around noonish tomorrow. Anyone else? Mike, how big was pressure that you are able to get on Watson in this game? You know, um, it, it's a big component. Um, it is, it probably always is a major component when these two groups come together. It's familiarity and, you know, kind of our edge guys have, have, you know, done what they did tonight, to be quite honest with you, um, in the history of this series or in the recent history of this series. Um, and it doesn't mean that we, we take their efforts for granted, um, but we need it, we expect it, um, and they deliver. Coach Kim, not gonna ask you last week, in terms of the slow start, can you pick it? It seems like it's starting to recurring. You talk about Matt Canna, but I don't think it's all on uh, Coach Canna. I think the slow start of uh, Kenny has to take its, uh, its own responsibility. Question, what's the question? The question is, are you gonna do anything to spur them or you going to kind of maybe up the ante a little bit? Sorry. What might that be? You know, we got planning to do next week. It doesn't make sense for me to divulge it in this setting. Uh, we got a game coming up in six days. We'll let that do our talking. Mike, you talked about you get the big play early, and then get a little big play early. Coming off the game that you, you did, is that an okay recipe for you, is get a couple of big plays and kind of hang on in between? We're not going to apologize for winning. Mike, how did some of your guys do filling in for Minka and play a couple of big plays by Joey? You know, we were we were short kind of coming into the game. Uh, can't say enough about some of those guys, Calvin Austin and others. Um, that's what teams do. Uh, they support one another, they step up, and um, I'm appreciative of, of the efforts of the men that you mentioned uh, in relief of some others. Um, but there'll be plenty of opportunities to, to display that over the course of the journey, unfortunately, because it's just a component of our game. Being guys stepping up, I mean, TJ is always great. But did you notice or, or see anything additional to him with you know guys like Cameron Minka not in there? You know, um, you know, guys made the plays, man. They, they did. Can't say enough about Highsmith. You know, he had a pick six and a and a big sack fumble. Um, we had contributions from a lot of areas, man. Just appreciate the efforts. You know, Larry Ogan, Joby played a lot of snaps, man. Hadn't practiced a lot, um, but had to absorb big time responsibility because we were playing without Cam. And so um, there's a lot of guys to be congratulated for their efforts and playmaking. How would you like last guys, one here, we got DJ waiting last. If you guys one. continue to incorporate Jalen and Najee into the running game, how would you assess both of their performances tonight and how they continue to grow in this offense? You know, um, boy, it was tough sledding early. I thought that um, Coach Swartz, man, did some really good things there in the initial stage of the game. They played five, D five down linemen. Uh, it took us a while to to get our footing there, to eliminate some of the negativity from our play. I thought we were able to get some of it going in the second half. Um, and kind of that's a knee-jerk assessment of what transpired from a run game perspective. All right. Thanks, guys.